I lost the game. Ah, it's here. Okay, now I found it. Very, very difficult to play with Antonis because he knows a lot of things. We can play Karo Khan. This is rating. It's not fair to play rating chess, actually. Um, now he just committed a mistake by developing the knight there. The knight should not go there. And this, my friend, this bishop is your best attacking piece. You should keep this bishop in order to attack. This is very beginner mistakes, actually. I can't win a, a piece that right uh, now after this because he can't develop the knight. But this bishop is not good to give up this bishop. So I'm going to develop my pieces like this. You cannot really do anything with your knight here. And if you just capture there, I can uh, recapture with the pawn. Actually, have a better center. Yes, uh, this is another passive move. I don't know why he played like this. Uh, I cannot punish him instantly, so let's let's try to develop the pieces. The bishop is there, the knight is there, okay. Uh, maybe I should develop my knight actively, because I'm waiting something like this, I'm going back, and then I'm waiting something like g4, and then I'm going to sacrifice the knight in order to create an attack and have a lot, a lot of fun. I'm waiting this, uh, this moves from my friends. I'm not sure if he can do it. Oh, what? What? Is he listening to me right now and he's playing these moves? Whoa, Queen E1 is a very, very nice move, by the way. Very nice move. Very nice move. Let's play this one. Probably he's not going to exchange uh, the pieces. Now, after G4, I'm hesitating to capture with the knight. Because if we just... With a pin, it will be a little better. Yeah, very nice move again. Let's win a tempo. I'm going to capture this bishop because it's one of his best pieces. And if he just captures the bishop, then uh, what he have actually? Um, he will not have any activity or anything like this. I will have a very nice position after this. My knight is fantastic and by playing some passive moves here with the knight and bishop, he can... Oh, my goodness. Queen e2 I was expecting. But after this, I can double his pawns for free. Here I have this one. And I, he has some weaknesses. Definitely d3 is a weakness because I can attack this uh, square somehow. Maybe with it. Now I can double this as well. Okay, strategically you played extremely badly, my friend. Because... Um, let's kill the knights. One idea is to kill the knight, uh, so I don't, um, I don't uh, allow him to go on c5. And after this, what this knight is doing? You see, positionally, this is not good. Now you don't have a bright future. Maybe we can go there, try to build an attack with the queen. Maybe or knight will go on a four, and he has some weaknesses. You can see he cannot really play with these pawns, and uh, I can exchange everything there. And it will be very nice for me by exchange all of the pieces. He's dreaming for some tricks like this and trap my queen. So maybe I can stop him like that. Or maybe I can go there with a the knight. So I'm stopping this one. I'm threatening knight to knight takes h3. And he cannot really take there because I can take with, um, with that. I can take this because... Oh, thank you for following. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're very welcome to say anything in the chat if you like. This is Angelo who is talking. And every Tuesday and Thursday I'm going to stream. We can play some games together. I can play with other people. And uh, we could have fun. This one, Tony is making gymnastic with his rook. He don't have a lot of ideas actually. I just captured a pawn. Um, he is not really threatening. Now I have an opportunity to give a check. He can go there and then I can give another check. Queen can take, but I cannot deliver checkmate because the knight is protecting this one. So this is a very nice defender. I can take another pawn for sure. Uh, whoa. And it will be... everything is uh, nice. I can hear twice actually the sound, so I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, what can we play? I can develop my rooks like this or I can just be chippy and capture the pawn. Let's develop the rook somehow. Let's do this one because like maybe to remove my king from there. This is something that I should consider. 
as um, critic oh why he just give up the bishop now I'm controlling this one for sure and what is this check and uh, check I have this check here he can go there I have another check he can go there and I can play I cannot play because the knight is there so I can take the knight maybe he can go I don't know how he's going to take he's going to take with the queen what why you went on g2 you have to run in any case let's capture there we have transposition actually here and now i'm going to play this lovely move because i'm threatening a checkmate and uh, i have fantastic fantastic activity how he can ah, actually it's not a checkmate i'm threatening queen h1 and queen takes uh, h3 this is my threat right or i'm threatening this check this one is not good because i can take on f3 very nice move very active move try to attack here and he would like to exchange some queen some, the queens in order to escape but after this check he has to bring the queen back then i have another check and uh, this is a checkmate here on g2 actually he lost on tactics but uh, okay he, he played very nicely very he tried actually let's say that he tried uh, my friend this is a checkmate uh, maybe we can play another rematch and they, anyone else if you would like to play he is very welcome to send me a challenge I guess uh, here's this guy here we have this guy I'm going to check that game come on he's not going to play Ah, okay now we have another game and I have the white pieces I feel very very strong with the white pieces yeah GG but please try not to, to destroy your pawn structure because if you just destroy your pawn structure then it will be extremely difficult to continue playing oh tricky moves what we can do here uh, maybe 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 to develop this one he's trying to play something the old king's indian right old king's indian defense um, yeah or he can transpose to normal King's Indian like this. I'm not 100% sure. Wow. He would like to close the center. To do something like uh, Czech, Czech Benoni. Alright, interesting. Now I'm waiting. So he cannot really develop uh, the bishop there, right? One idea is to play h3 and g4. I need to be a little careful here. I'm waiting him to develop the bishop in order to play knight to b5. And he can move again the knight back. So maybe I'm going to do this because with this move on g4 it, it will be more difficult for him to play. I'm trying to squeeze him. It's not easy to squeeze the other guy. Maybe we can lose some tactics or things like this. But after g4 he will not have this f5 move and without f5 move it will be extremely difficult to play in the king side and in the other side of the board he didn't play correctly actually all of the moves. The bishop is belonging here controlling b5 and f5. I have a very... actually it's not... it's not ideal to play this bishop is nicely placed there but it's doing its work. Oh I don't really like that move why you just play that one maybe he would like to do some maneuvers or things like this but he is creating weaknesses there now i have a clear target if you just give me a target with uh, less space then he will have problem now he's losing something okay wrong plan it was this one but uh, when you are squeezed it will be a little more difficult to play this is an extra pawn and now we can decide how we're going to take it can we take it like this maybe not let's take it like that Thank you very much my friend for this fantastic gift. No one is uh, so generous to give up his pawns like this. Let's overprotect everything here on the light squares so no accidents will happen right now. And uh, I have an extra pawn and step by step I'm going to improve its position. Now he's going to create some counterplay but he cannot really create counterplay without only with a queen. He needs some pawns. I'm going to castle in any case, I'm not afraid of him because he has only one queen and his pieces cannot generate anything there. And my next step is to go like that. Now I have that square, I can play the knight there, or I can play a prophylactic move like h3. 
Um, I'm a little confused. And if I just play this instantly, maybe he can go there, right? So I don't really like this one. Maybe the bishop can play a role. Play, uh, try to do this one because I'm stopping his idea. And maybe I'm planning to develop my bishop uh, on that square or play a4. The bishop is lovely place there, right? He cannot really do a lot of things. And uh, I'm going to stop his play, his counter play on the queen side. And after this, I'm going to continue with my plan. This is a very, very strong plan. Now he's threatening that one. Come on, Donis, you, you need to leave me do anything I want, actually. Why you played like this? Why you're creating problems? Don't create problems. Now I have to think. Maybe I played the bullshit on bishop c2. Can I trap his queen somehow? I'm very... Like this, he can take the pawn. And I can I cannot really play there. He can go back or on b3. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking stupid things. So, let's play this one. And after this I'm going to play a3. I'm going to stop his attack. I need to stop his attack. And after this I'm going to continue with my threat. I said that I'm going to play h4 20 moves ago, but uh, I, I cannot do a lot of things. Now I'm going to play that. He has to go back. And finally, finally, he don't have any other threat, right? He don't have any other threat right now. This is very important. And now I can start uh, going forward with my pieces. Maybe I'll go there again. Maybe try to exchange this. Uh... Now what he did, he pinned the queen. He pinned the queen so he cannot take that one. And I'm going to take there with a the rook, I guess. Mm, I think this is a move, right? To take like that. I can understand his plan actually. He played here in order to play something like b5, even with a pawn sacrifice. This is a very nice idea. He has to do something like this, but he has to think about this beforehand, before going on uh, queen b6. He has to foresee better. He needs to create stronger threats actually. And queen b6, uh, he created some temporary threats. I stopped them. And now he is sacrificing everything here. So. I need to take this one for sure and uh, if he allowed me then I'm going to play a4 to block everything there, there to be rock solid. As uh, uh, Peter Zwiedler used to say, he cannot really sacrifice in this way. Maybe I have something interesting I think, okay now it's a critical, uh, we, we can make cimento, this is what I'd like to say, Peter Zwiedler learned, uh, learned cimento from Sotiris Logothetis who is uh, working on uh, on chess 24. Now let me give this one, he, he should go back, I have another check, he can go up, then I have this one, the king can take there, and my queen is not helping. This one, very very interesting variation. Um, it's not working, it's not working, it's tempting but it's not working. Ah, maybe... This is here, he can go back, this is a check, he has to go, uh, he has to go up. And I'm going to leave it like this, right? Ah, it is a checkmate, oh, it's not a checkmate, I can win the exchange, but... Whoa, a lot of variations there. Um, from first time I saw this uh, construction, actually, I played the game, I played the Grunfeld defense, completely different opening, but it had the fianchetto. And one player, very strong Greek player, played this um, this idea with me, with his 8th pawn. It was very, very important. I'm not checkmating there because he can take the pawn, but I can play queen, H, queen d2, queen here, and queen h6 uh, to create the checkmate. Maybe... I completely, I completely forgot about that. Wow, what? Oh, man. Maybe I can checkmate with another way right now, very crazy way. Taking, taking, give a check, he can go there, I can take. Okay, let's take this one. Let's see how he's going to recapture. He's going to recapture with the king, what I'm saying. And after this, I'm going to play queen d2. Or if he goes to the wrong square on... Uh, Hello everyone, this is Angelo here and we can... You can silence me, I have some commands there. 
You're very welcome to challenge me. This is a mistake actually because I can take there. King takes. This is a check. He can go there and then my queen can uh, go inside in the king side. Oh, he went the wrong square. He has to go here, right? I think this is winning. I think. I'm not sure. I think. It's very... Uh, now I'm waiting. When, when you're going to play? Ah, I need to play here in any case. Pre-move. I'm going to do this in pre-move. I don't care. Uh, do I care? Yeah, you cannot put the rook there because I have a check on in any case. And this is a checkmate in one again. Okay. Whew. Thank you. Very nice game. I played with my friend. You're very welcome. All of you, you're wait, wait, uh, watching right now. If you like this video, you're very welcome to follow me on Twitch live streamings every Tuesday and Thursday, 1900s Greek time. Be there. This one right now. Whoa, what is this? And the time control is 5 plus 2. Let's play this one and after this I'm going to play e6. This is the benefit of uh, the Karo Khan. We can play this one. So it's something like the French defense, but the bishop is not stuck there. And then we will have the normal... Oh... This system. This is a sword system, right? Nigel Sword created created this system and he said that I can develop my pieces very very slowly castling and things like this and then we can see um, I had some ideas there very very tricky guy very tricky guy now I need to take a decision and I don't really like to close everything I have a crazy idea to play c4 and c3 crazy um, another idea is try to press him try to press is the best he's not capturing that pawn because after this I can take he can take with the knight I have this check and he's going to parry this check somehow and I'm going to take the pawn yeah and now I'm threatening to take there to take that pawn so I don't know what he's going to play. I have very very nice game right now. Some tactics here and everything is just fine. Right. Um, C3. He continue ignore my threats. This is not good. Definitely he has the bishop pair, but uh, I'm threatening the bishop. I'm threatening the check. I have very nice game. Okay, he lost some tactics here. Again, you see, the tactics are very, very important. I wasn't a fan of them. I didn't really like the tactics. I say strategy is above, actually. Try to play strategical moves. But uh, tactics is extremely important because if you know how to play tactically and if you are not missing your opponent threats, then you can play very nice chess. And I, I'd like to thank my friend uh, Stelius Halkias who really like tactics he is playing extremely good on tactics and he motivated me to uh, where shall I go now I don't know I'm going to play a stupid move I guess all the way back ok let's play I played the most stupid move because I was planning to, to play my knight there it's extremely difficult to make stream and play in the same time right now he's threatening this one. What are you doing? Okay, you cannot really play that. I'm going here because you see, again, the problem of, of Antonis here is this he is not creating a very strong plan actually. And he has to include all of his pieces to the plan. I have two moves, maybe this one. And now I'm attacking his bishop. He has to go back. I just played that move. And after this, I'm threatening the queen's exchange. And you see, he created a plan only with two pieces. Try to do something. Obviously, I'm going to foresee this one because I'm asking any time what he would like to do, what he would like to do. And I stop him. And, and now I'm going to create a better position, right? I will have better position. He cannot really take on c4 because after this pre-move, this pawn on b2 will be very, very vulnerable. This is very interesting. But now he lost another tactical shot and this is it. Actually, it's not clear because he can play 
He can play B3 attacking my queen. I'm not sure if he can find it. He has to play B3. This is the only move actually here. Uh, and then I'm going to play queen to C8. And he has to exchange the queens in any case. And if you don't create a nice plan, then uh, things could be extremely... Wow, B3, he found it. Bravo, congratulations. Very strong move. You're going to lose something. Uh, you're going to lose the pawn on C3. I didn't foresee it before, but... It wasn't another way. He just uh, create. Um, he just made a blunder. He lost something, but he didn't lost uh, everything here. He just lost. Oh, he just exchanging the pieces. What he's doing? But what he can do actually now with my pawns, he cannot do a lot of things. I'm going to put all of my pawns. This is not good. He has to to keep some rooks on the board. Maybe now I have very very easy play. Um, what? He can go here, I can give a check. I'm threatening this one. He can play f3, but I'm going to play there and e4 in any case. So this is dead lost. Dead lost because I have very nice position in the center of the board. He don't care about my threats. This is not a threat because I have the knight. And he can go back. I'm going there, going here. I don't know how I'm going to win, but I have more space. I'll, I'll try to restrict his bishop somehow. To play this move before maybe because this bishop will be ve feel very very bad and i'm threatening this knight to f3 i guess so this is oh he's foreseen this one as well um i need to be careful maybe i'm going to play here to play that one in order to stop his pawns first of all in the dark squares and then I can start um, jumping forward on F3 and things like this, maybe. Uh, many of you... Oh, this is a check and passant, right? Uh, he blunders something, now he blunders something else. It's my turn, right? I'm a little confused sometimes with these chesscom uh, ideas. Uh, chesscom... Uh, yeah, sorry Tony, you lost some tactics there, but uh, the main problem was the plan. He created a plan only with two pieces, with the bishop and queen. Bishop and queen. And I can stop these uh, threats very easily. Oh, let, let's be careful because now he is changing his mind. He played the king's Indian defense. Um, and now I'm going to develop these pieces like this. And usually knight f3 is the best move here, but after knight f3, maybe people would like to play this cut of system with bishop to c to g4, taking the knight. It's not the best system of all, but I think it's nothing wrong to develop the bishop first, because I'm stopping this idea. Maybe I'm going to play this in any case, because again I'm stopping this idea, and he has to do something. He has to do something, and then I'm going to develop... Uh, in, uh, now you can see that he cannot pin my knight. Maybe he's going to play these ideas in any case, <laughs> even if I play, if I play uh, the knight there or not. But right now I'm threatening to play g4, and if I play g4 again, he will not play this move f5. And without this move f5, he will have problems. He just played e6 here. e6 is not a good move for sure, because he has um, less space and he needs to do something about that. He needs to to play actively, because without activity he cannot really play... It doesn't have to take it back. Ah, you cannot take it back. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I don't know how can I allow this. And right now this is another bad move, because why he played the, the knight there? I can understand. He cannot jump forward, he is not threatening anything, and I'm going to play f4. f4 is a move. Maybe I can do this, or maybe I can uh, delay this a little bit. I can play this, because this knight is not going anywhere. Uh, maybe h3 was a little better, but okay. I'm going to play very, very, very solid chess. I played a mistake here, because he might exchange some pieces. Wow. I think I'm going here. g4 was his square. But playing, you see again, he played the knight there, it's lovely, 
to go on uh, g4 and maybe to take that bishop but i'm not allowed him to go to capture my bishop because bishop was important and um, why to create a weakness right now i have this bishop i bowling that pawn maybe i can go there at some point i can't win this pawn actually he has a lot of defenses and the main problem is that he played a move without a real plan this move knight c4 didn't have a real plan first of all i'm going to kick this but now i'm going to blunder if i just play this one he can take here and he can capture my knight so if i go there he has this move i'm not sure again if he just captured the bishop if he can take the bishop I have some problems, some problems to solve. Knight to b4 to b5 is a move because I'm threatening this. If you just play that one, I can take. I don't know. I have some problems with that pawn, right? Can I play here? Simple as that. Maybe. It's not the best, the best, but. Uh, Okay, now I need to find a plan actually. It's a little difficult what to do here. Because he is threatening. I can play the knight there. Okay, let's play the knight. It's not the best because what my knight is doing there, but what his queen is doing there. So we are playing random chess or something this is not what i like and i'm going to kick this knight for sure because i don't like to keep enemy pieces in my territory and uh, i'd like to go for water what he played here why let's play h3 in any case and maybe i'm threatening something like that something like g4 what the knight is doing on h6 really now what what is the future Maybe he would like to go there, but I'm going to attack with g4 and after this he cannot go on d4 because I have this um, strange knight there. Come on, I can take this one, right? Now he blundered. He blundered something. And he's mixing the ideas behind between... What? It was... Um, uh, he made a mistake actually with his mouse. Yeah, he made a mistake. I'm sorry about that and actually I cannot give you back a move right I don't know how to do it uh, I don't know how to do it sorry about that um, but lost it was a complicated game she's continue playing after this heavy inaccuracies but uh, the game is over right now because I have more pieces and uh, with more pieces yeah I misclick I, I, I know it this is another tactical mistake because I had this idea in any case and right now I'm attacking the queen and the pawn simultaneously so it was another tactical mistake it doesn't mat matter about the material but it mattered that it was a, a tactical mistake you just blundered that one maybe queen d8 or something but the position is not um, playable in any case i created some uh, one small video below my uh, camera actually you can see it i have uh, a dog i have other ideas there and uh, yeah and i just understand how can i find uh, the challenge Okay, Adonis is, uh, he would like to play again and again, Any, anyone else, if, if you would like to play with me, you are very welcome to, to challenge me, I'm going to play something else, let's play now, ah, he's going to play the Spanish, okay, uh, I don't remember the theory, let's play this one, now I think I have to develop that, I have many years to play this one, or one or two years for sure, Bishop e7 I think it's uh, the right move but maybe I'm going to play this in any case because she has to go back and I'm avoiding some ideas after bishop to, to e7 instantly he can't take there on c6 
it's not about a big issue or something but uh, with this way I'm um, um, how to say I'm stopping his idea to capture on c6 hopefully the chess uh, com is uh, working just fine now I need to castle I'm waiting this one and I can play the marshal I can play the marshal or the normal uh, lines let's play the marshal defense I have many many years to play the marshal actually I'm not sure if uh, Antonis know all the theory all of the details I don't remember everything but in any case he's not going to take that what I'm doing he's going to take that one probably d4 whoa d4 is a mistake why he just played d4 he can take a pawn right but he just give me something this wasn't a good move he should not play this one he has to take on uh, d4 now what he did I don't understand and almost almost uh, wait a minute because maybe I'm going to blunder something I'm going here he can take I can take with the bishop I guess with the bishop he can take there I can take he can take there so c6 is the most solid move yeah okay let's play very solid move uh, moves actually I'm going to play this I'm going to play that and then I can play something like c5 and c4 my initial idea was to play bishop to e6 and play c4 at once now he lost little uh, time and uh, this is a threat oh he stopped me not bad not bad at all um, okay rook here I think it's interesting because I'm looking to his rook I'm dreaming to do something about his rook now I can take this I'd like to exchange queens so this is alright and uh, I, I'm not sure what he did actually bishop to e3 he played something strangely there some oh come on man what, from where you're playing actually why you, you played that move okay I'm, I'm going to sacrifice my queen again on d on d1 okay okay just play something oh he's frustrated right now because he just make a blunder I'm going to sacrifice my queen on d1 all right to play a game because uh, uh, it was uh, a misclick again. I don't know why he's making all of these misclicks. He, he's playing. Come on, take my knight at least. What are you doing? Um, come on, why you played bishop there? Now I'm, I'm going to win again. But <sighs> okay, let, let's give the knight. But I don't like to play this one because I will have nice position in any case. What you're doing? You can take the knight. <laughs> what you're doing? I, I'm trying to help you, man. Oh God, he played that one. He's trolling me or something. I don't know. Okay, at least he captured this one. I can take a pawn right now. Uh, yeah, he, he don't have any. I, I looked if he have any discoveries with uh, the knight actually, but he don't have because my bishop is controlling the knight. I'm going to take. Uh, I'm going to take um, material there. B3. Whoa. He found it. He played B3. Whoa. Maybe I have a trick here. I have a trick. I didn't. I didn't foresee this one before, but I'm going to play this move: bishop on b1, because I'm threatening the bishop. And if he just captured there, who will going to defend the square on uh, on d1? Pretty, right? Pretty, pretty tactic. <laughs> bishop b1. Okay, I'm going to drink little water after that game. Maybe I can do it right now, and my friend can think.
if you make a mistake then you can continue making mistakes right now I can take the bishop for free or I can take the rook and after that I can take with the bishop actually yeah um, tactics are extremely important you need to, to understand the tactics clearly because Try to capture material, if someone is threatening something, try to take it back. This is ideas actually. And you need to solve tactics all the time. And I had the friend there, uh, is frustrating that it doesn't have take back or uh, on unrated game. It uh, ruined that game. Okay, we, we can change it, I don't know, if someone uh, knows uh, how we can change this one, th this option. Maybe I'm going to find it, right? Um, how on uh, settings, maybe? Oh, what I did? I, I, maybe I resigned by mistake or something? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Uh, I try to find... Ah, I'm still playing. Okay, let, let's go there. Open a new tab. I'm going to, to search about this uh, board and games, I don't know. Yeah, how can I find it? Board and pieces. Um, usually I don't like to give uh, take bucks actually to anyone, but uh, okay, just for you. Maybe I can uh, do it. It says live, daily, block, password, affiliate, membership. What exactly is this? I don't know. I don't know what shall I look. Uh, in any case. In any case. We have a lot of people watching right now. Is there anyone else who would like to play actually? It will be nice to play some games. Don't don't hesitate to play with me. It's all right. I, I enjoy the games. If we play together, it's all right. Uh, I like it. Only if I misclick happen, uh, this was obvious. I wanted to trade. Yeah, okay, but um, it was bad. I can understand when you are making some uh, misclicks. It's okay. Maybe we can play more games, right? If anyone else would like to play, it's okay. But if anyone else don't like to play, maybe I can continue playing uh, with my friend here. Uh, how can I found, find... Ah, from there. Rematch. We have another rematch. Okay, let's play E4 this time. Let's play different openings. It's okay. He's playing e5, one of my favorite openings. Now let's uh, test the Spanish against him. He played the Spanish, so I'm going to play the Spanish as well. I'm going to play this one for now. Later, in later games, I'm going to play something else. Because it's not so easy, not so obvious how to play with black pieces. This is the very basic, the best system to start with, experiment yourself. Okay, what what is this move actually now? What what is this b6? <laughs> it's, uh, maybe you would like to play something like b5. I don't know, but b6 is not really a move because what are you doing? You are burying your bishop or something? What this bishop is going to do? I'm going to play this. Okay, let's play f3 to protect everything. Maybe I'm going, I'm going here to take this one, maybe this. Mm, okay. I'm thinking, is this a check? I need to create a plan. Definitely, but uh, let's play this one. 
I'm threatening to double his pawn, so he has to do something there with um, the the knight. Now, I think I can play forward, and he will not have the bishop pair if he just take there. He will not have the bishop pair, and uh, he played that move. What is this right now? Why? Why he is blundering everything? Come on, I'm threatening something. I'm threatening there. I'm threatening knight c7. First of all, because before playing, you need to calculate what the other guy is threatening. Okay, let's take. If I just take the rook, he can take this one, and I don't feel 100% sure. Uh, maybe I can take instantly, or I can do something else with my bishop. I'm not sure. I don't like to take the rook. I don't really like it. Let's take here. But what to take there? Let's go here in any case. Because I'm continue threatening the rook and the bishop, right? Uh, I'm going to play something like this or the other one. I'm not sure. Mm. And I'm, I'm trying to create some problems for him. Some problems. So he has to solve some problems. Okay. This was nice. Now... Now I can take a pawn actually. Why not to take that pawn? And I can escape, I guess. Oh, what I'm thinking. He has this check actually, right? I was almost ready to almost ready to to fall in this one. Almost ready. Okay, let's capture there and now I'm going to play rook d1. Try to develop my pieces. Almost ready to blunder something. Almost. <laughs> wow. Almost ready. Uh, he just captured there. I was planning to do some checks there, but in any case, let's take and let's go for that square. Maybe. Try to improve a little bit my knight. Now maybe I can kick him away. And after this, I'm going to, f to win the fight. This is not really a good move because I can play that one and he has to go back and step. Yeah, it, it, it is exactly what I said. And um, he went forward. Now his knight is an extremely bad piece. He need to foresee actually what to do. Now I'm threatening this one. This is a check to double the rooks. Uh, is this the best actually? I can give a check. He can go there. I'm going to lose something. This is another threat here. I'm threatening this one. Um, ah, I wasn't really threatening that one. But I'm threatening now these two things. Yeah, an exchange. I'm threatening this. I'm threatening that. Okay, I just capture something. It's not good to, to allow me capturing things. And my king is protecting this entry squares. This knight is out of the way. I have some activity with my pieces. And he just blunder everything here, right? Yeah. This is one move. I'm threatening the pawn, so you have to go there. And... Uh, he don't care about the pawns. Come on. You need to ask what your opponent is threatening, actually. It's very, 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 very important to check what my opponent is threatening, what he is threatening. You would like to go here. Maybe I can give a check because I'm keeping an eye on these two, two pieces. And it's not 100% sure how you're going to continue, right? Maybe I can go this way. The knight cannot really go out. I can exchange it. I'm dom dominating the position and my king uh, control the entry squares. This is something. Let's go up. Or let's go here to overprotect this. Okay, I'm going to repeat a little bit the position right now because I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, let, let's repeat the position. And I'm going up with my, with my king. I'm not going to repeat forever. This is not good, obviously. Because now I have a connected past pawn and uh, a square there. Okay, now I blocked everything. He would like to play this or this, right? But after that, I'm threatening the rook. He has some problems with the rook. 
And if you just remove the rook, then I can pin the knight. I can pin the knight and I'm threatening something like this. So he has to play... Where? Ah, I'm threatening the rook and the pawn. Wow. I didn't see that one. He just blundered a lot of things right now. He's threatening my rook as well. Um, now I need to calculate. This is a check, he can go there, I can take, he can take, I have a check, he can go there, protecting that pawn. And then I can take that one, so I think this is very nice. Um, this is a nice way to continue the game, because I just captured material, and... Uh, I'm not sure what he's going to do. Wow, he's threatening this. Let's protect it. Always, always, we need to ask what our opponent is threatening. Of course, he's not going to exchange the knights. Um, let's start pushing the pawns forward. And now, I think it's obvious and um, obvious and easy, right? I'm sorry about that, my friends. I don't know if you would like to play more. Yeah, you would like to play more. Let's play more games. Let's see what will be next. Again, ah, we have a Karo Khan right now, huh? Um, usually people, usually people do this one, but they are playing there with d4. I don't know why he allowed me to play d4 myself or c5. Maybe. Maybe I can try this right now. Yeah, but he played very passively. This is not the sword system. He played very, very passively right now. My idea is this, and then I'm going to, wow, I'm trying to capture that pawn, like that, like this, playing the knight out, this is, come on, he just overlooked my threat actually on g5, why you're playing like this, not good, not good, uh, tactics are extremely important, Extremely important. Okay, let him take it back. I don't know. I'm going to take that one in any case. Yeah, he just blundered something, right? Don't try to create um, to create only one move threats because if you just threaten someone just with one move, then. Um, he might go back and then your pieces will not be in the right places. You need to create a plan with all of your pieces. Now I have extra material, so maybe we can exchange queens. Why not? And I can take this juicer here on d3 because I have the bishop and the knight, right? So... Emoji. What is this emoji? Ah, you can see me click this emoji right now? Ah, we have something. Uh, let's capture. Uh, what? We have a lot, a lot of emojis there. And where it will go? I don't know. I can't click something. Uh, okay, let's uh, focus. Let's go. Why I should move this bishop? Let's develop. Hopefully, I'm not uh, blundering something there. All right. 
but if you did that um, I need to open up lines I think let's play here and I'm planning to open up some lines maybe something like this or h5 I don't know playing something now he blundered that pawn because he would like to push his pawn forward let's capture something here um, and he would like to take take and take that one so I think I have to go here I'm overprotecting that one on b7 it's important to overprotect everything he played this one try to open up lines I can see a pin there I can see a free piece okay now he's frustrating I think and he's just blundering one piece after the other maybe we can stop playing because um, he he's a little angry he's a little angry there okay and when you are angry or tilt don't try to don't, don't try to play chess try to to relax a little bit try to relax and try all of the time to play good moves good moves the the problem with my friend here Antonis is that he's not creating long-term plans with all of his pieces he would like to play more okay let's play one more one more game and now okay let's play with this c4 I'm trying to play another system um, let me do this wow the Berlin what the Berlin why he's playing the Berlin right now I need to remember here what shall I do I think I should castle he has to take I'm going to play d4 I don't expecting that one I wasn't expecting that one yeah now he cannot take the pawn because I have the spin what he did actually he played bad moves he played the Berlin maybe he didn't understood he didn't understood the position Dum. yeah he made a mistake okay let's go here it's far from over definitely he has some counterplay but um, I don't really believe on this <coughs> this is not good because I have that one this is a bad move because maybe I can take and I can go there oh I blunder this okay try to exchange some pieces maybe where the queen should go because I have a threat there come on come on again another tactical problem don't do these things don't play frustrating maybe he's not uh, watching right now I don't know um, I feel bad I feel bad for my, my for my friend maybe I'm going to send a message to him I don't know um, I'm going to send a message Ah, Mupane. Vexer. Yeah, we can play more. Uh, let's play the Sicilian. Okay, another opening. Let's play something else. 
All right, he's here. Okay, I, I, I think it's better to solve some puzzles or something. Maybe he's a little frustrating for some misclicks and things like this. I don't really agree with Open Sicilian, by the way, because it has a lot, a lot of theory for that reason. And it has a lot, a lot of variations to learn. He has this one, okay. Now I'd like to play the Night Dwarf, but A4, what shall I do? I think I'm going to play this right now, right here. Try to kick the Knight away. Now I'm going this in order to stop that, so he cannot play Bishop to C4. A4 is not the end of the world and he cannot really support everything there. Now, he played a little passively. Can I go d5 right now? Because he lost the control, right? d5. d5 and if I manage to play d5 then I have a nice position, right? d5 looks very strong. Uh, we can play this one and then we can solve some puzzles, it will be okay. Solving puzzles is always nice and one of the reasons that I created this stream is to train myself, to, to do training. Right now he's trying to create some pressure here by attacking this one. I have one move, bishop to b4. Or I have d4. d4 is also very strong because after d4 he has to do something with the knight. Uh, knight d5 is not good move, I can take d4 here i can take 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 and i'm winning something the doubling the doubling of the pawns is not important and another move is just to pin his knight he can take there i can take i should take with the pawn in order to protect this one but i think d4 it's uh, the best the best here Yeah, you play that, maybe... Okay, let's stay with the pawn. It's not the end of the world, because I have very, very nice position in the center of the board. He has to move away this knight, and then I can play... No, I cannot play this one. Maybe I have a check, maybe I can develop my knight there. Knight there, rook here, maybe knight there. Try to do something against... Uh... Uh, the c2 pawn it looks it looks okay for me right yeah and what is your future wow just wow wow and if i play here now it's adding the knight what he's going to do maybe to play something passive like this then i can do that maybe i can take then i don't know i have a lot of pressure on his pieces right now he lost the control after d5 i just played d5 d5 was a very strong move actually if i manage to play d5 then i liberate my position and um, he has some problems I played with another person and uh, he beat me badly, I lost 8 to, to 1 or something like this. He didn't play better chess than me, but he was very very fast. He know what he is doing, he played very side, a lot of side lines, strange lines and um, he tried to trick me actually. He tried to trick me with um, different move orders, but he didn't play well. And when you are losing from something, definitely you are improving yourself because you are learning a lot of um, a lot of ideas how to play, how to continue. And now my friend has some problems because he lost the control of the sender. I'm threatening the knight. Maybe, maybe I think this one could be the best, but again, I don't really like it. I'm not really fan of it. This is another idea. Now I can take here. He can play rook there. I can take the knight. What? what? Queen there. I'm threatening the knight. What he's going to play? Knight c4. I'm going to take. Take. Okay. Queen takes here. Knight c4. Mm, 
not 100% sure. So let's improve the. Now I'm not sure how to take the pawn. So let's improve the position. I'm overprotecting my pawn here. And we will see. Ta -ra -ta -tum, tum, 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 tum. We will see. Knight c4. Now he blunders something again, my friend. He blundered this one. He can take with the bishop. I can take that. I'm threatening the queen because I have the rook opposite to the queen. This is not good, right? And uh, maybe... Do I have better, better uh, squares? This one, I don't know. Ha! Huh. If I just take, 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 queen here, threatening mate. Threatening mate. I can play rook d7. Yeah, I need to be careful. Maybe I can go there in any case, because what he is going to play? I'm still threatening to take this. I'm still threatening to take and um, I have very solid position and I don't really like to give counterplay to my opponent. Yeah, I'd like to play solid chess without a lot of opportunities for him. This is a nice move. Now I can take with a knight I guess. I'm threatening this. I'm threatening two things. I'm threatening the knight and I'm threatening a, a check here maybe. After this check I can take the queen. I'm giving a lot of pieces. I'm not 100% sure. At least I'm threatening the knight. And rook c8 I think it's not the best. I'm calculating a line, rook c8, rook c8 check, rook c8 check, oh, he just blunders something again, or not. I can give this check, he can take, I can take, he can take. And I don't really like it, I don't like the queen actually, I don't like to take the queen, why to take the queen? The queen is not offering anything here. I can completely destroy his uh, um, pieces by taking on c2 and taking on c4 and rook d3 at the end of the day. Rook d4, I think this is the best. Take, taking, ta with this bishop, I'm going to take, he's going to take and rook d4 or we can exchange the queens I don't know we can exchange the queens and rook d4 is the move actually here rook, and move, rook there it's a very strong move and I'm threatening two pawns and the pawns are important this one is an option I didn't see that one but I can take with check and then I can take the other one I don't know maybe something like this this is a little passive I guess I'm going to win something Oh, not there, not there. Be careful. Be careful on tactics. Be careful. He just blunders something right now. Yeah. Yeah, he just blundered the rook. He's playing very nice chess, my friend, but um, unfortunately he's creating tactical errors he needs to improve his uh, tactics oh, no, oh, no. what is this move actually this is not a real threat or something I don't know I'm going to play here yeah another blunder come on every after move you need to ask what am I threatening I'm threatening something right you need to be careful you need to be careful. Uh, yeah. If you like this video, you're very welcome to follow me on Twitch live streamings every Tuesday and Thursday, 1900 Greek time. Be there.